Metroid Dread gameplay presentation demo from E3 2021. Ho, 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 ho. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting so you know what to do. Come on back. Cause we gotta check this thing out. Highway, Highway. J Rock J -Rock. Hands come back, Hands come back. To, you to you too. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. J Rock is here. Oh, we gotta check out this Metroid Dread gameplay overview. E3 2021, man, this thing just dropped earlier today, and when I saw that Metroid, they call it Metroid 5, but it's Metroid Dread, that this thing just dropped, oh my god, you want to talk about someone who is a huge Metroid fan, you're talking to him right here, the YouTube people's champ, J-Rock, and I remember back on the Nintendo 64, I think it was Metroid Prime, if I'm not mistaken, where they took you out of the, you know, side-scrolling 2D world, and they put you right smack dab into the 3D world, but it was first person. So you got to see the helmet, the different type of gun. Ooh, I was loving that back on the Nintendo GameCube. But now we are here with Metroid Dread. So we're going to see what this is all about. Are they going back to the 2D? Let's wait and see. But first, if this is your first time on the Great Ones channel or you're coming back one more again, take a second, hit that subscribe, but do it now while they are chanting uh, J-Rock's name. <laughs> Now that you've hit the subscribe button, take a second, hit that like button, comment down below where you found the Great Ones channel, and share. Also, any reaction requests or anything you want me to check out, make sure you drop it down below in the comments section, and uh, put a link to it, and if I give your, um, choose your request, I'll give you a quick shout out. But let's check this gameplay out. No rhyme intended on that line. Hello everyone, welcome to Nintendo Treehouse Live. I am super excited about this next segment. Oh, me too. Delve into an early work in progress version of Metroid Dread. Uh, show some of Samus's new moves in action, and also I think get to a little bit of the uh, way the game develops this uh, suspense and tension that um, gives the game its title. So I'm joined by Audrey and Teresa from Nintendo Treehouse, and Teresa's going to take us into the depths of Planet ZDR. Yeah, all right. So let's uh, take a deep dive into uh, the very beginning. Of the game. Uh, okay, so they're so going back to the 2D. Just a little bit to show. Samus is a uh, free movement here. Um, so, like, I just spent a little few missiles, so I'm going to use this uh, interactive here to replenish. Um, but one of the things I want to show here is uh, free aim, which for those that have played uh, Metroid Samus Returns, this has made a comeback. Um, you can see a lot of the, the area around as you use it. Um, also has this little tracking system that um, when it's uh, targeting an enemy, it'll make that sound. I want to take a moment to say that as Nate and Sakamoto-san already mentioned, this is the first new 2D Metroid game in 19 years. That's almost two decades. I don't know if you did the math, but uh, that's a lot of years. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Show sure how. We're really excited to be finally showing Been 50 11 that. years. Here's another returning move from Metroid Samus Returns, which is mm. the melee counter. Okay. I never played My Samus Returns. Um, and then a new one is, or the development of the melee counter. Ooh. It'll let that go move a little bit back. Is it double jump or just wall jump? Ooh. Oh. Melee dash. I really love that because it doesn't break momentum. I can immediately do nice. a counter and Damn. damage to an enemy. Yeah, something this game does. I haven't really liked or played a 2D game. You know, since like, like the Super Nintendo and the Sega and all that stuff. But and here we have the friending. Once I got introduced to 3D world, I was hooked, man. Dash melee. So instead of having to stand still, uh, still and wait for enemies to attack you, you can just go get him, which uh, really uh, has great movement to this game. Yeah, I, I love that like Samus moves so 
well and it's just a mm-hmm. lot of freedom it's just this is probably the smoothest i've uh, been able to control samus in a really long time absolutely and you've opened up the map screen here something that uh metroid fans know to love and adore <laughs> yeah. uh, the map system is just as important in this game as ever and it, it really shows you uh the classic Metroid gameplay, uh, gameplay progression, which is back in full force in this game, where you look at your map, you identify areas that you haven't been to yet or aren't able to access yet, you try and find another way through, find a new ability, push your way forward, fill in the map, lather, rinse, repeat. So that's back and better than ever, in my opinion. Yeah, and this area here is blinking white because there is a something here that I haven't discovered yet. Um, so I could use markers to kind of pinpoint it just in case I don't have an ability um, and I have to backtrack here once I'm able to explore it. Um, yeah, don't sleep on those markers. Those can be really like, yeah. important in this labyrinthine world. <laughs> sure. Um, but this is curious. It is really uh, a, a part of the charm of Metroid though, having this uh, renewed uh, sense of purpose in your backtracking paired with pushing forward. Yeah, I want, another thing I want to pinpoint is the amount of work that Dev Team put in in Samus's animations. Like, just her animation of gripping the walls when she can't move or like holding onto the ledge. It's just yeah, so sweet. Yeah. yeah, you'll notice little touches everywhere. So keep an eye I don't. I don't even own Nintendo Switch, but yeah. I get one to play this. I would get a Nintendo Switch to play this. Like this, when you're in uh, helmet view for a moment, really add to the isolation uh, and the tone of this game. Yeah, this game is a, a sequel to uh, Metroid Fusion, but you can see that her suit looks a little bit different than that, so uh, that'll be a story element that people will find out what happened. Uh, when they play We've been waiting and waiting and waiting for a new Metroid game, and it's finally here. So these are the Emmy that Sakamoto san was talking about, and none of Samus's weapons seem to do anything against them. <laughs> so, run. <laughs> yep. Oh, that slide moves. Oh, so it's cool. like the freaking she looks so Metroid yeah. Terminators, yeah. ain't it? It is. Nope. Okay. Oh, no, just, just no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, missiles don't work either. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, so scary. Uh, about this being called Dread. Freaking Terminator. <laughs> Oh my, oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Did a little reach for me there. <laughs> <laughs> that was new. Oh. Yeah. That one's clearly not well, but it's still quite frightening. Yeah. I would I would um, get a Nintendo but, Switch to uh, play this. I'm not even going front, man. Can't completely reach to me, but we're going to have to find a different way to tackle that enemy. You know, this thing is a uh, central unit which uh, controls various areas of the planet. Um, it's sort of a biomechanical computer kind of an homage to uh, maybe similar units in previous Metroid games and from this unit uh, Samus can power up uh, get a temporary power up uh, for her um, arm cannon to turn it into the Omega cannon the Omega cannon yeah, so oh, 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 oh. typical cannon. Metroid fashion you've always seen the camera hand around here and now with the uh, Omega Cannon ability, there's this dynamic camera that you get to see over Samus's shoulder, which is so, so cool. Yeah, little additions like that really flesh out the classic 2D gameplay without it feeling uh, like it strays too far from what we loved about it. Mm-hmm. Just makes it seem really powerful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see if this works against our, uh, our enemy friend here. It takes a little while to charge up, so... It does. Oh, oh, my God. God. I wanted to make sure I had it one yep. of the sites. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my <laughs> Yeah, so it was God. so powerful that uh, in order to take that Emmy down, um, our, we lose the ability of the Omega Cannon, and it goes back to a regular arm cannon. Oh! Easy now. It was for a Really? <laughs> you can't use it but once. Talk some of them. I also want to point out while you're scrolling your way through all of these uh, different halls that there are so many different ways to play this game. Uh, like Teresa is amazing with a missile. She's the queen of the missiles, but you can also just uh, shoot your regular arm cannon. Uh, you can try and avoid enemies altogether, try and hit them all. Uh, really, it's up to you what kind of Samus you want to be. 
Yeah, and as as uh, Audrey pointed out to earlier, that you could use free aim to do more like line of sight shooting, but you could also just free aim shoot while you're moving as well. Ah, okay. A little puzzle action going on right there. I want another first person shooter version though. I mean, this is hot, I'm not lying, but I still want another first person version. These are the entries to the various zones that the enemy are patrolling. And uh, once you're in there, you need to be on the lookout for those. You can hear in the background, the music is so atmospheric. It really puts you on pins and needles. Just it is listening to it. very, I, I am completely on edge. Yeah. <laughs> really eerie. Can't seem to climb these yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's the detail in the background. I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Especially during moments like this, you can they really sound They sound excited, don't they? How cool it is to have an HD. 2D Metroid game. <laughs> we, we tried that already. So yeah. <laughs> hey, it was you need to. Luckily, this Emmy can't go through tight spaces, so I have an advantage here. Somehow, Emmy doesn't seem so oh, worried. <laughs> well, hot dog, look at that. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my goodness! That thing is, is is booking it, ain't it? Okay, you gotta you gotta get away from that. That's my recommendation. Yeah, when they go into this uh, <laughs> patrol mode and turn red, um, the door locks until they sort of lose track of you. It's still trying to get at her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Try it. Find another way okay. to get to me. Yeah. Also, I don't know if it's my heart throbbing through my hands or <laughs> the controller, but. It's, yeah, it was pretty nerve-wracking when facing the Emmy. They're terrifying species. Yeah, she makes it seem like she's calm, cool, collected, and badass. I like to pretend that she's actually as nervous as I am when I play it, but I don't think it's true. I do you want to point out, like... <laughs> Girl, you know it's like, true! The detail that the developer... The development oh, team has oh, put into, oh, like, not just the you. enemies in the forefront, but also in the background. I don't know if you guys can tell the shimmering thing in there. Yeah. There, it's moving. Mm -hmm. Cloak? Okay, it doesn't bode well. Yeah, well, probably. Quite a note that for the future. Yeah, some of those details kind of tell the story as effectively as, you know, uh, a voiceover or anything. Yeah, if you want to be a bounty hunter, you have to pay attention to details. Mm -hmm. And watch out for gooey enemies. <laughs> this is morbid. I love the detail of, like, the, the rib cage in the background. You just know something went down there. So, uh, the thing about Metroid enemies too is that some of them have patterns and, and you can counter them, um, and others don't like this one, so I'm just gonna <laughs> move them out of the way so I can use it. Um, and this room is a communication room with Adam, who happens to be um, Samus's uh, ship's PC, or computer. Uh, Hmm. We're going to skip this part here just because we don't want to spoil any of the lore, but Dan, if you could summarize for the folks at home. Yeah, so as Samus is exploring, uh, she uploads data to Adam. Gotta give me a Nintendo Switch, nah. Adam kind of gives a little analysis. Um, just That's just probably the only game I play for, but I don't care. Uh, I don't care. Like that. It's still up to you to kind of explore, but there's some interesting lore in there, and um, you know, some some little hints that you can uh, potentially use and uh, in that one Adam was basically summarizing the, uh, the Emmy and kind of the limits that they have of patrolling a zone and um, also how dangerous they are which we've, we've kind of seen but hopefully we won't see too much firsthand here. Hmm. Doing a great job of just shooting at the environment, looking for secrets, looking for a way forward. Because it's not always going to be obvious. You really have to. It's like a puzzle. It's not just action. It's not just exploration. There's also a lot of puzzle elements here, trying to find the way forward. Yeah, and it's really cool too how Metroid Dread does this really sweet balance of you know the moments where you're allowed to have like some quiet to 
uh, solve the puzzles, and then it's interspersed with this really heavy, intense action. Yeah. So here's the. Uh, Ooh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> nope. Um, that was uh, the Emmy, as Dan had mentioned. They have Damn. three modes. One is the surveillance. The other is. Uh, like Pac-Man, you just blue. They're just scanning and ghosts. the area. Um, <laughs> what? 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 Sense the vibration. Oh, come on, that don't work. It's gonna go investigate that. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Ah, oh, oh. 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 So the Emmy, uh, Got kill scenes in this thing. Relentless and ruthless. Uh, it is sort of like a permadeath, which is very unusual, um, for you know, enemies with uh, in the Metroid series, but luckily, it's not very, it's the game's pretty forgiving. Uh, it allows you to respawn at an area that you were in recently, so we're able to just go back and count So it ain't permadeath then. Again. Yeah, that's too said Insta-Kill is new to the series, but uh, it's really great because it offers a chance for you to have that challenging difficulty that I think Metroid fans expect, but without being quite so punishing with the respawning that you just have to play the Ooh, game gotcha. and get back to where you are. So it's a really wonderful balance. Yeah, and when... The Emmy are in patrol mode, which is that, uh, right now, it's in pursuit of me. Um, they're scanning areas where they last sense movement, and so mm. they'll go and investigate it. And then if they see something in the eyesight, then they'll go chase it. Take me to the water. To be baptized. The audio change too. I absolutely love that detail. Oh, there's always one little <laughs> that one straggler there. <laughs> I don't need to save. I I'm feeling great. <laughs> shows how you you don't have to to stop to fight these enemies if you really master that dash melee you can just kind of run and gun mm -hmm. mm. this little water puzzle i really love the animation of the water flowing from one area to the next it's such a cool detail now the water levels change too have access to other areas. And here is uh, the map room. So man, this game looks good in a mug, room, man. We'll I don't even really like 2D games, but this game. to the um, area that I'm currently in. Um, so we sort of lightly touched on um, the, the narrative of this game, which occurs in the events post uh, Metroid Fusion, and so that's why Samus's look um, looks different. But um, also to point out, back to Audrey's point about you know the game is about exploration and action, and so this area of uh, map uh, upgrade allowed me to see more about the map. But you can see that there's still a lot of obscurity here, and so you need to explore in order to uncover more of the area and also um, any secrets involved so yeah, it's also worth noting that uh, this series and this game is full of really juicy lore so uh, whether you're a new or a returning metroid fan uh, if you've never played a metroid game before it really gets you up to speed with anything you need to know to enjoy the story and if you are a longtime metroid fan you have a lot to look forward to. Uh, as Sakamoto-san said, this concludes the story arc between Samus and the Metroids, so uh, we've been waiting a long time for this, and it delivers. It's that little enemy Damn. that uh, Teresa just... These things are up. just... It's kind of like an item pinata. Gets you <laughs> a lot of whistles. 
Yeah, defeating enemies is a, definitely oh. a boon because oh crap, um, not it fast enough. Gives you replenishment for e for energy and also oh, so you um, can missiles. So look like it's you, definitely you want can to hit a button. Defeat enemies for that. I just didn't expect the Emmy to be right on top of me when I destroyed the Autools. That little beeping sound, just I hear it in my nightmares now. <laughs> there was come up. Oh, he's it's persistent. Ooh. That was hot. Detail about this game is normally in Metroid games you start at the surface of the planet and you work your way deeper, but in this game you actually start deep within the planet and try and work your way to the surface, and so that that yearning towards ascension really adds to the tone of this game as well. I love that you don't have to necessarily wait for an enemy to attack in order to counter in this game. If, if you keep an eye out, you can actually sometimes counter before they if they start their attack. Here's a throwback, so I have to use a missile in order to destroy yeah, I remember that. that cover, and then I'm able to access that door. Just one missile, though. That's good. Yeah, I remember uh, Super oh. Metro, you had to use like three, four missiles to open up doors. That's the other thing about the uh, dash melee is that uh, if you use that on it, you'll we'll get, I think, a few more extra items. Charge beam. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Charge beam. So it's very damn it, I got to get a damn Nintendo series. Switch now. Um, <sighs> you know, starts off oh, go on it. Without any abilities and slowly um, becomes more powerful and able to tackle um stronger foes but also be able to uncover or explore new areas that you weren't able to before yeah and uh, suit upgrades are another classic part of metroid gameplay that is oh go on it man game. i also love you can see if you keep oh, the background nice there are all kind of uh, cool statues and architecture that really uh, piques your curiosity about the lore of this world I love that too, mm -hmm. using the charge beam to make a charge beam spin attack and defeat mm -hmm. some of those enemies is really handy. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Got some more life, which is always a plus for me. Mm -hmm. Need that. Need that life, health, and strength. abilities and uh, become adept at them, you, you start to feel like Samus. <laughs> at first you're like, mm, maybe not quite there, but once you get the hang of it, you, you really start to feel like a badass bounty hunter. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just so smooth. It's like she's parkouring through this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, 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 excuse me. There's more great architecture. But we're not here to look at architecture. We're here to shoot things <laughs> and explore. Yes. <laughs> so now we can't go through this area because of the water, so we're not able to slide. But we are able to access this door that we weren't hmm. before. Ah, and here's another Emmy door. Um, but in order to not spoil any more surprises here we're gonna leave this as a cliffhanger and uh end our segment here all right well that's all we've got um on metroid dread for now um thanks teresa and audrey uh, next up we've got some uh, mario superstar mario party superstars uh to show you so stay tuned oh, oh j-rock says this gotta get a nintendo switch yeah gotta get it ain't tell us the release date i'll find out uh, I'll probably next year or whenever. But whenever it drops, yeah, I gotta get a Nintendo Switch now. Damn. Yeah. Hopefully they'll be a lot cheaper by the time this come out. Because, uh, you know, this is probably going to be a bundle. But, uh, yeah, this is just one of those games, man. You know, I don't have a, uh, an Xbox Series X yet. I'm still rocking the Xbox One X. Uh, 
But um, I'm waiting just I'm waiting for a game on the Xbox Series X that says, man, you need to upgrade, play this game, and get the full experience. I'm waiting on that. Like PlayStation 5, it, it was day one. Like you had to get it day one to get some of the games that they were on. That excuse me, that were dropping day one. And um, this is just one of those games, man, where you just got to get you a Nintendo Switch in order to play it. And I dig it a damn, I'm going to be getting one. Y'all let me know. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. And if you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Let me know. Is this a game you want to play? You getting a, uh, Do you already have a Nintendo Switch? What, 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 what's the deal? All right? Let me know in the comment section, all right? Um, also, be sure to hit that bell so that you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time, Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, uh, but J-Rock is cooking.